October 2002, ordinary Americans feared for their lives, too frightened to put petrol in their cars or let their children play outdoors. For 23 horrific days, a series of random sniper killings terrorized Washington, D.C. A walk down the high street would be a gamble with life and death. These two individuals were cold-blooded murderers. They didn't care about who they killed. No one really expected that it would be a, a man and a boy uh, working together as a, as a sniper team. Well, I think people began to be scared um, when they realized that the shootings were random. You had to come to grips with the fact that uh, there could be somebody pointing a gun at you as you sat in your car. They were just picking people at random. If you were out there where they could get to you, you were gone. So many crazy thoughts are done lost control. I must kill people and take their souls. I'm nasty. I'm forever dirty. If you piss me off, you won't see your thirties. Not a people person. Most are worthless. Grab the gauge and make them start hurting. Show me love. I just wanted the father. You gave me a home. I never felt this before. This is new to me. I finally feel fucking free. Together as one, we were unstoppable. Nothing is hard. It's all possible. Show me the way. You are the master. Let's go and kill them fucking bastards. Time to prove myself to you, Muhammad. You are the king, you are the prophet. Let's go to Nicole's house and take this bitch out. I'ma do it right, without a doubt. My heart is pumping, I can feel my adrenaline in this car that I'm sitting in. I exit the car and knock on the door. to kill that whore.
prove Plotting my revenge My wife left me And she took my kids I stay up all night Hatching up my plan I must off this bitch With my bare hands I'ma smack the fruit The dry fruit Wait until the morning Till she comes through I grab my rifle And I take aim I'm about to blow out My wife's brains Seven o'clock a.m. That's what the clock says. I'm peeping at my target with the infrared. She's etching the house just like I planned. She about to kick the fucking king. What the fuck? She's speeding off.
from the caprice, no one sees a thing. Fuck your gold chain and fuck your diamond ring. I got five bodies, but I want some more. I'm shooting bullets and leaving you sore. I'm taking you to hell, it's a one way road. Will I ever stop? No one knows. But I've seen it all. I'm shooting you in the face and making you fall. Little boy Malmo, that's who I be. I kill niggas and make money. Fuck with horse, I have none. All I need is John and my gun. A warrant for Mohammed and Malvo's arrest was issued at 7.54 p.m. At 12.05 a.m., a press conference was held, announcing the license plate they were looking for, NDA-21Z. And so a truck driver in Myersville, Maryland, about 50 miles from here, heard it on the news, wrote down the tag number, and saw the car. And within a matter of 15 or 20 minutes of it hitting the news, we had a spot of the, uh, the car, and then we went into action. At 3.30 a.m. on October the 24th, 2002, Mohammed and Malvo were arrested as they slept in their car at a rest area on the I-70 highway. It's very surreal. It's like you're living in a tunnel, and you're going through the emotions, and you're wondering what's going to happen next. And, you know, I think the biggest relief for all of us was when they were caught. For the victims' families, the fact that the men responsible were in police custody helped their grieving process. The almost perfect crime had been solved. People were safe to walk the streets again. But the question remained, what turns two men into cold-blooded killers? In my placement, I'm about to enter hell's basement. I'm about to meet my maker. Wanna join? I'll take ya. It's three years, time to end this. My last meal was cake and chicken. I leave behind a legacy. Hold me down, I'm poison me. 23 days, I held DC captive. Now I'm in this cell, captured. Death is the final step. No final words. I have none left. The execution of John Allen Muhammad has been carried out under the laws of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Death was pronounced at 9.11 p.m. There were no complications. Mr. Muhammad was asked if he wished to make a last statement. He did not acknowledge this or make any statement whatsoever. No statement. What was his demeanor? He came in under his own power escorted by the officers. Um, he seemed quiet and relaxed. He was quiet I and never relaxed. heard him utter a word or say anything in particular at all. 
Um, after he was placed on the gurney and strapped down, he was very emotionless. He watched a bit of the procedure that was being done on him. Uh, but uh, after that was completed and the curtains were opened back up, he had his head tilt, tilted slightly to the right and his eyes were closed and that's the way he remained. How many people witnessed this? I don't, I don't have a total number. Anything unusual? Things went very, very normally. 